Well, hello everybody, I am Jay Leonard Jay, and if your pedal board looks anything like this, this uh, little Anasounds power supply might be the perfect box for you. Well, Anasounds just released a, a brand new power supply system. Uh, this is their K Plus. It actually comes in a couple different variations. You have the main unit, and you have the mini one, and you can actually run them independently from each other or piggyback them off each other, just like you would on like the Strymon units. They also have a third variation, which is actually in pieces in this box. It's a make your own kit. And you could actually choose the outputs that you want, how many outputs, what the voltage of those outputs are. It's actually pretty cool. It's like a Lego thing. You could put it in its own enclosure. Pretty cool. But the question you must be asking yourself is, well, power supply, you know, what is this going to do that other power supplies don't do? And that's a good question because every power supply system has its own pros and its own cons. What I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to show you a very particular rig that you can power with this thing that you wouldn't really be able to power with any other system. And actually this box solved a big problem I had with my own pedal board rig. And because of it, I'm uh, going to integrate it into my pedal board rig and I'll show you exactly what that problem was. So I got a bunch of pedals. I'm using, oh no, it's gonna drop. Oh, that's horrible. I'm gonna grab this thing over here. Let's get to work. So before we wire everything up, I'm actually gonna show you exactly what is going on in this unit that makes it a little bit different. Uh, we have four different sections to this and all four of these are completely isolated from each other. So uh, they don't see each other, which is great if you have some noisy pedals. Uh, each of these four has two amps of output, which is just huge. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. Um, both of these, both of these pairs, you can choose between 18, nine and 12 volts. So you can uh, have different outputs for that. And then for the last six, it's all nine volt outputs. Uh, these two, of course, being separated from each other. In the back, uh, we have a 24 volt through, which you can use to connect to a, a different unit like this mini one here, which only has two uh, sections with uh, three each. You could also power this on its own with the 24 volt in, and this one has two of those 24 volt ends, which is for this power supply over here. Really, really fancy stuff. Um, now that we got that figured out, let us put this board together. All right, so I am all wired up now. It should all work in theory. Uh, what is underneath, well, what is underneath all of these uh, cables and craziness going on here is actually a really cool sounding rig made up of some very frustrating pedals to patch. And I'll tell you how uh, these pedals are frustrating and how uh, this K plus actually solved a lot of my problems. So uh, let's start off with uh, this over here. This is the Two Notes Audio Engineering Torpedo Cab M. This is my uh, power amp, it's my preamp, it's my cab sim, and it's my reverb. Now, it sounds great, but the problem about this is it needs 12 volts to operate, and most uh, power supplies can only give you nine. So, uh, you know, you usually have to bring a separate adapter, but luckily for us, with this unit here, it does have the 12 volt option. And that 12 volts is still giving me two amps. Both of these outputs are now 12 volts, and I can now power this pedal with no problem. Now the next pedal that gives me trouble is the old wah-wah pedal. Now, if any of you have had experience with putting these things underneath your pedal board, you always have to be careful of where you put it underneath your pedal board because typical power supply units like this have a transformer in it. And if this thing is underneath something like your wah, you're gonna get a hum. And if you've ever realized, why does my pedal board have this hum? Just check where your power supply is if it's underneath and what it's underneath because sometimes you can get hum just by having a pedal on top of it. Now with this pedal, the actual transformer here is in here. It's a separate unit in this like little laptop battery thing. So you could actually put this somewhere else, 
keep it, you know, hidden or just keep it completely external uh, away from all your pedals. And that way, if I have this underneath, you'll notice that when I put this over, I'm not gonna get any of that that nasty, nasty hum that you're gonna get. So that solves the problem. Another problem with this wah pedal is it actually hates uh, being daisy chained with other pedals. It needs its own isolated source. A lot of old fuzz pedals, a lot of digital pedals, well, the older digital pedals, the new ones are pretty good, but uh, the older ones, they need to be by themselves or they're gonna introduce noise into your signal. And this thing actually has, you know, four groups of isolated outputs. So I just put it in an output all by itself and I'm not gonna get any hum. Problem two solved. All right, next. We got two other pedals here. Very, very high consumption pedals here. I got the Empress Echo System and I got the Space Charge. This thing is actually a tube overdrive. So there's a tube in this thing. It needs lots and lots of juice. I think the power supply is like a 1.5 uh, amp power supply. Uh, this thing, obviously this does so much. This needs at least 300 milliamps to work. Now, on, on a lot of other power supplies, this would even be more amps than just a single output can handle, but I actually plug them into the same channel. So these pedals are actually sharing the same two amps, and because the two amp number is just so high and you get so much headroom, I could have both on at the same time without ever having to worry about squeezing out my power supply. That's pretty crazy. And again, you notice it's pretty quiet as well. Now, we're gonna get to this. this is the grand finale for me because uh, this is a very real problem I have and this is the reason why I'm gonna start putting, uh, this is gonna be in my rig now because th it comes to this. This is an MXR talk box. Uh, it is my favorite of the all-in-one talk boxes, but a lot of people don't like it because it, it comes with the wrong power supply. Uh, this thing ships with an 18 volt, one amp power supply, but it needs two amps. Because if you push this thing with the one amp power supply, you're gonna get like weird sagging and it's gonna like fall apart on you. Two amps, it holds tight, but finding an 18 volt, two amp power supply is hard. And I found one and I have to bring this unit everywhere I go because there is not a single power supply out there in the market that's gonna give you 18 volts with two amps of power. That's crazy. Well, ah, it did it right over here. K plus 18 volts right here. And uh, some power supplies, when you change the voltage, it changes the amps. No, this is 18 volts, two amps, and I can get all on my talk box stuff. Let's see what I can do there. there. Awesome. Now all of a sudden my rig is so much simpler, so much well put together. I could daisy chain it, I could do all kinds of stuff, and if I need even more amps, I could just get another one of these little bricks here, and I could plug two into this unit and get double the current. So, ah, it's awesome. And it sounds, I can dig it. Well, that is it. That is the demo. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to the page. Uh, check out the links in the description below if you're doing some shopping. It really does help the page. And if you want to hear my full on review of uh, all the entire K plus system here, uh, please check it out on Patreon. I do all my demos on YouTube and I do my Patreon funded reviews on Patreon. Uh, my question for all the subscribers today is, what is the power supply that you are using with your rig and is that power supply system fulfilling 
all the needs that you have. Uh, write it in the comment section below. That being said, I will see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.